new to NC2 is the ability to run a firewall gateway VM on your NC2 cluster. Until this feature came out, you would have had to run a firewall as an EC2 instance. So now you're getting the ability to reduce your EC2 spend, utilize your existing hardware that you're paying for, and get better security. Let's take a look. So here's our AWS environment. We have our Palo Alto running as a VM on the cluster, which before it had to be an EC2 instance. So you're going to save anywhere from two to $3,000 American by having this on the NC2 cluster. And then we're using this server subnet 131-0-26, uh, UVM1, UVM2. Uh, these will be marketing research machines in our demo. Now, as soon as we run the command, traffic is going to flow to this, the inside NIC of the Apollo. If you wanted to add additional networks, you would just add additional NICs to your Apollo Alto uh, configuration. This would allow you to inspect traffic from all of your NC2 subnets. And additionally, you're going to get the added benefit of a consistent security model with Paulo being on both on-prem and in the public cloud. And then we see the outside NIC, uh, which is 133.56 slash 24. Um, and then as soon as that command is ran, we are going to see an ENI appear. So that will allow us to get a route for our inside traffic to go back to the outer NIC of the Apollo. So in our private route table, We'll see that appear here, 131-0-26. And then in the public route table as well, in case you have a VPN that you want to uh, configure, and then there's a way for that traffic to get back to the Palo Alto. Uh, so um, the other bonus here uh, that, you know, as you configure this and run the command on the next screen is that you're not having to actually change the default gateway of the user VMs, which is a plus. Uh, which, you know, if you're doing a failover, maybe there's some added benefit of, you know, redirecting that traffic without changing the individual VM configuration. And then just that on a security aspect, there's no way to actually anything in the guest to change it as the command is run, AHV, the OVS rules are going to be updated to push that traffic to the inside NIC. So a little bit of um, better security as well. So now if we take a look at the command, and so this command will be ran on the CVM of one of your nodes in the cluster. Uh, the Acropolis subnet UID is that of the server subnet. Uh, it's the inside and outside of the Palo Alto, the IPs, so 16 and uh, uh, 56 in this demo. And then if you want to remove the configuration, you can run a delete command and everything will be reverted. The ENIs that get created will be removed and you'll be back sending traffic to the AWS.1 uh, default subnet. So let's hop into the demo. Here we have our AWS environment. We're using this uh, 29 as the network. The cluster was deployed with Prism Central, but it's not needed as this is for native networking only. We have our Palo Alto network, which is AWS services, uh, 133-24, and then our server subnet, uh, 131-26. Now we can go into our Prism element. So we have our PAN gateway, See so has three addresses. Dot sixteen is the server subnet uh, interface. The fifty six is the outer interface, uh, which will be redirected to the ENI. And we have dot twenty three is our management interface on the Apollo. So if we take a look at our settings and network configuration, uh, here we have it listed as firewall outbound one thirty three. So the names don't have to match up with native networking. We just need the ciders too. And we have our servers, 131, and then our Prism Central uh, network. So uh, we have it all in place. So now if we take a quick look at our Palo Alto uh, uh, device, or network rather, we see our interfaces that are configured outside, inside, 
and we have one tunnel or one route router default so the once the traffic going outbound the default route going to the outside nick is then the next hop is going to be the aws gateway at 10.78.133.1 so now if we take a look at a user virtual machine sitting on the cluster uh, marketing this web research 5 we already have it open and so if we run this speed test so it's generating traffic go back to our firewall traffic <clears throat> we don't see the speed test coming up because um, it's not configured for traffic to go there so we can go ahead and configure it by going to our prism central or sorry our CVM of our cluster so we have the commands cached so first we would need to do a VM list to find the UID of our pan so we have that and then we would also do a net list for the UIDs of our server so I'll run this command for each time we want to redirect a, a network to our Palo Alto. So we'll exit out. And we have the command listed here. So we have our the server UUID followed by the inside interface, the outside of the Palo, and then the Palo UID. We hit enter. So as soon as that command is run, if we go back to our AWS environment and then go to route tables and then our private route table, I'll just sort by. So on our private route table, we see that we have the ENI. So if we click on that ENI, so our Server subnet that we configured is going to point traffic to the ENI so it can come back. And if we just click on this, we can see that the secondary address is our Palo Alto. And then that same route table. but the public one, sort again, public, will have the ENI as well. So traffic, if you have a VPN, it, it can route back to that firewall. We can go back to our user virtual machine, run the speed test. Now we'll see this traffic show up here. Just hit enter. So here we see the speed test. So traffic is being directed to the firewall now. Um, so it's really that easy. We didn't have to change the guest gateway. Uh, it did it automatically. So if we even take a look at that virtual machine again, and we take a look at the network setup, IP config. We see that its gateway is still the AWS gateway, but we are indeed uh, passing traffic over to the Palo Alto. And now, if you need to make a change within your environment, really easy to revert it. You can just go back and run the delete command, and uh, yeah you'll be good to go. The ENIs will be removed and traffic will flow back to the default AWS subnet. Quick and easy to get set up in your environment. Utilize your existing hardware 
and enjoy all of that traffic being directed with no user intervention to your firewall. We'll see you in the next video.